Now to another big story. Patients and nurses running for their lives after hearing gunshots. Thanks for being with us, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Vicki Yates. That chaos unfolded over the holiday weekend at St. Thomas Midtown. A terrified staffers called Metro Police to report an active shooter. A quick response ended the threat and no one was hurt. Tonight, News Channel 5's Nick Barris has exclusive details on the accused shooter and questions being asked about the hospital's response. I spoke with a cardiac patient who was in the ER early Saturday morning. She says a nurse came into the room, said there was an active shooter and to get out quickly. She tore off her heart monitors and then ran from the hospital with an IV still in her arm. At that moment, around 1.45 a.m., many in the hospital heard gunshots and took cover. Metro police say this man, Nicholas Pere Zayanga, was in an outer stairwell shooting several rounds from a handgun. A staffer inside the building at the time who asked to remain anonymous says they all feared for their lives. This was something that I felt like would should never happen, especially like in the hospitals hospital. Um, I mean, it happens. It, it can happen anywhere, but hospital like, wow. Police quickly arrived at the scene to find spent shell casings littering the stairwell. Zayanga made it to the fourth floor on the outer stairs, but without a card key, he could not gain access to the actual hospital. Cornered by officers, he surrendered, giving up the gun and several magazines of ammo. No one was injured. It just kind of make you question what was he going to use those rounds for like was it for himself was it to hurt others was it to hurt a patient like what was his intention the 33 year old Zayanga is from Austin Texas friends say he suffers from mental illness and disappeared last Tuesday likely driving until he ran out of gas in the Nashville area they think he may have sought to check himself into a hospital it's not clear if he was ever a patient at St. Thomas the shooting is certainly the main issue but another is that several staffers say they were concerned they never received an alert or a notice about the active shooter, raising questions about security and the response. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Ascension St. Thomas did issue a brief statement late last night that reads in part, safety is always our highest priority. We are fully cooperating with, Metro, with the Metro Police investigation. The suspect's getting a mental evaluation and will be arraigned tomorrow.